In this episode of The Anchor, we're gonna apply our all-in Christian lives to the fishing trip that we take in these next couple of days. We're gonna go as Mark chapter 16, Jesus tells us in Mark chapter 16, says we're gonna go into all the world, we're gonna go further than we've ever gone before outside of Port San Luis. Jesus says, go to the uttermost part of the earth in Acts chapter one. We're gonna take that theory and apply it to this trip. You know, the Bible says that we need to do these things if you wanna have success in the Christian life, you, know, you need to take some risks, you need to push yourself, and that's the theory that we're gonna to put to test this weekend. How you feeling? I'm good. Ready to catch uh, the fish that swallowed Jonah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we gotta haul out because we gotta the weather's coming in this afternoon and we gotta get we're going way out there. So. Okay, so we're way beyond everyone else at this point. The only one smart enough or dumb enough to come out this far. Yes, here. That's that's how I usually fish. Okay. Just kind of get your leg up against the wall. I then... feel like I need it. My body just needs to adjust to like. Yeah. This is why you go home after the weekend and like you'll be in the shower and like the shower will feel like it's moving. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jacob. Some people are just sick all day. Other people, they get used to it. You get used to it. Despite spending a couple hours fishing at the new spot, much to our surprise, we barely caught a thing. So we decided to change plans, head back to the bay, and try our luck there. We'll make the sailor out of you! Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's go fishing. Okay, hopefully we got two. Okay. 
get him out of the motor. Hey, get him out of the motor. Hey. No! Go, go, you got him right in the motor. Oh my goodness. Oh, give me a waypoint. Okay, stop. Push him in. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh. Waypoint. Wow. Everything. Everything. You should carry both of those at the same time. You caught them both at the same time. Yeah, at least almost 20 fish in that. Keeper! Nice! Three. Ah, that's a link cod, my friend. Okay, so let's compare what, what Aldo just caught. <laughs> that's a nice that's big daddy fish and yeah. on, little me, baby fish. That was a link cod. You feel uh it's like all your pride goes away, your ego melts, huh? Yeah. I hear you're like, I have nothing. So on day one, the plan was to go uh, further out of the bay than we'd ever gone before, and we did. We, uh, we worked our way out there. We were uh, up against kind of a time constraint because at about 11 o'clock, there was supposed to be some high winds coming in that were going to make things, uh, you know, uncomfortable slash unsafe. So what we did was we did push out there right away. We arrived at about 9 o'clock. Um, we did catch some fish. Uh, but they weren't anything that was amazing or to, to write home about. So we worked our way back um, towards the bay. The weather really picked up. It was really windy, a lot of work uh, fishing out there. And then we came actually um, closer than we had ever fished before. And we just got into a pile of some of the biggest rockfish um, that I've caught here uh, before. And Jacob uh, picked up a really nice lingcod. Uh, I don't know why he's always the one uh, catching those, but we got into a nice area here that's close, that was calm. Um, it had a really good day of just uh, catching some really nice fish. And it's really great to have that area because now we know that if uh, you know we can't get out because of the weather, we always have a, a fallback position uh, to go and catch some nice fish at. So day one, um, great day, limited out on fish, um, freezers full. Uh, we'll see what we can do tomorrow. So what does everyone think? How's the day going so far? Yeah, so far it's so good. Catching a lot of fish. How beautiful many? Weather. Beautiful weather. How many we got so far? Oh, a day or about 40 minutes. I think we got 10 or 11. Scott, what's That's the count? Line. Here, it hit a waypoint. Oh, double. Nice. nice. All right, hoist it. Hoist it to me. Wow. There we go. That's In this episode of The Anchor, the plan was to go out further than we had ever gone before, fish in deeper waters than we'd ever gone before, and hopefully catch some bigger rockfish and uh, hopefully some lingcod. The theory, the Bible analogy here was that we were going to kind of go um, into all the world. You know, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature is what Jesus says in Mark chapter 16. And, you know, he tells us in Luke chapter 9, he tells us to not let anything stop us from going out into the world 
um, to preach the gospel. Jesus actually has somebody come up to him, has people come up to him in Luke chapter 9 and want to go home and say goodbye to their family. One guy wants to, you know, go and bury his father. And Jesus says in, in verse number 62, he says, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Just showing that the Christian life is to be this all or nothing type of thing. We were going to take that in episode two of the anchor into the fishing world. Now what actually happened is, is quite interesting. We had weather coming in on us um, both days, both Friday and Saturday. There was weather coming in at 11, 12 o'clock into the afternoon. So we went out early in the morning. We did go further out, especially Friday. We went way out there and we did catch fish, but we just didn't catch that many fish. So we got weathered out and we came actually into um, the bay, into the bay and in, in, towards Avila Beach and we caught big, <laughs> big, the biggest rockfish I've caught since we've been fishing um, in Avila. And also we caught some nice um, lingcod as well. So the Bible lesson here kind of turned into an Acts chapter one lesson where, you know, the Bible tells us to go um, to Jerusalem, to Judea, Samaria, and, you know, then into all the world. You know, it's just kind of a reminder for us that you know, sometimes, you know, success in the Christian life or, you know, success for souls is just, you know, walking out your front door and just going out and just preaching the gospel to people who might be your immediate neighbors. Because that's actually what happened to us here is we tried going far out. You know, this would be the, the exciting, um, you know, mission trip that everybody wants to go on. Uh, but we always have to remember that, you know, just going out and just talking to our neighbors in our own hometowns, in our own neighborhoods, is very fruitful as well. And that's what happened to us in this episode of The Anchor. It's just relaxing, being out on the water, feeling the waves, you know, just hanging out in fellowship with uh, brothers in Christ and just enjoying God's uh, beauty. So I want to say my favorite part of this trip was definitely uh, being with the Bazarnsky family. Um, the one thing I learned about going out and fishing in the sea is that you have to have a little bit of toughness in you. And uh, I learned real quick the power of God and the power of the waves, it humbles you. And uh, I believe when I went out there, I got humbled, uh, but just with a little bit of prayer from God uh, to strengthen me. I got, I got strong and put my sea legs on and uh, I started fishing, catching some good fish, so.